After five months of receiving treatment for prostate cancer in the United States of America, Kenya's Minister for Medical Services, Professor Peter Anyangnyongo, returned home satisfied with the treatment he had received so far. Now I feel great. Now I feel um, I've conquered the beast, as it were. Um, because the, the life after radiation, if, if, you, if you look at uh, the things that you need to do and you do them properly, it's manageable. And, and of course, since I've been uh, treated by very competent people who have done thousands of these things before, they assure you that what we have done is a state-of-the-art treatment. It couldn't have been done any better anywhere. During his free time, Nyong'o found time for a variety of activities. Occasionally, he gave lectures in different universities in California, every time reminding his audiences of the perils of poor lifestyle habits. The rich and better off section of society, while having sufficient resources to eat well and live healthier lives, have a rather unfortunate interpretation of what good diet is. Plenty of roasted meat and the beer to push it down <laughs> is the affluent man's pastime a good part of the week. He also found time for social activities. Meanwhile, enjoying the sceneries of San Francisco. The people are present. For example, if you are standing at the corner of a street and you have a map in your hands and you are trying to go, somebody will come to you and say, can I help you? Where are you going? Where do you want to go? They are very present people, but of course it is also a very interesting city in the sense that uh, it has all kinds of lifestyles, I'm telling you. Uh, and there are more dogs than children in this city, and dogs are played specific attention. On Sundays, he attended a church in the neighborhood. His experience with cancer has made him reflect more about life. I think it's important to, to take every day as important. I, I, spiritual life, human relations, networking, um, uh, helping other people, uh, avoiding stressful situations, being a good human being. Nyongo says rather than kill his political career, his battle with cancer is going to have a positive impact on it even when he departs from elective politics. My career from now on will be very focused in, uh, in terms of, better focused in terms of public policy than before. I mean, I, I think I've think I I've been pretty focused since I was Minister for, for Planning and National Development, but, but this experience has even introduced a sense of urgency as to certain things that we want to do. One of the things that I want to do as soon as I go back to Kenya is to establish a National Cancer Foundation and to ensure that the cancer policy, which is now in Parliament, is a form of a bail is passed before the UN General Assembly on Non-Communicable Diseases. Nyongo returned to Kenya last Sunday, inspired by his experience to fight even harder for the improvement of medical services in Kenya. Following what I went through, I prayed to God and said, let us have proper planning and resources to give this kind of help to Kenyans. And as he settles down to perhaps a less rigorous routine, he would like Kenyans to develop a habit of paying attention to their health. Whatever work you're doing, whatever money you're out earning, if you don't look after your health, then why? Why are you doing that? Why are you earning this money? I mean, what's the point? Sylvia Chebet, Citizen TV.